With temperatures dropping, it's about that time of year when you're probably thinking of turning on your furnace and heating devices. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jennifer Abreu. Heather is off. Color 10's Francis Lynn spoke to a fire marshal and HVAC technicians about some things you should look out for before you turn on your heating system here in the Ozarks. Francis. Jen, HVAC technicians and the fire department told me we should get yearly tune-ups on furnaces, make sure heaters have enough space around them, and know the importance of carbon monoxide detectors. So, this is one of the busiest times of the year for HVAC companies. As of right now, a lot of people are getting home from work and going to kick their units on tonight, and they're going to say, hey, it's not working. So those calls will probably add up and we'll probably be booked all night long. Scott J with AirServe explains yeah. why your heating devices may have trouble powering up. A lot of times what will happen is you'll get some debris around it. Uh, if it's in a garage, you'll put gas cans around it and things like that. And then, you know, just, just because things haven't operated and, and they're in moisture conditions because of the summertime use, then a lot of times the parts on it can fail and things like that. To make sure your home is safe from fires caused by heating devices, technician Brett Callahan stresses the importance of yearly maintenance. If someone doesn't get maintenance done, we'll typically see it run for about four years before it breaks down. So it would drastically shorten the life. So. Uh, getting the maintenance done keeps it safe. The American Gas Association says any cracks or failures in a heat exchanger or furnace has to be replaced. Fire Marshal Mark Ebb says to make sure you keep all flammable objects away from heating devices. And a lot of times if the house is full of clutter, the space here gets too close to items that can combust. And so we recommend that you maintain at least three feet of space around your, your space heater. And explains potentially life-saving differences between the color of flames in the furnace. Uh, you don't want to see a, a yellow or an orange flame because that means that you're putting off a lot of carbon monoxide and you're not getting a proper clean burn. Uh, so it should be a blue flame. If there are any problems with the system and, and there is a malfunction in anything, a carbon monoxide detector can and will save your life. If a fire were to start, get everyone out of your house or apartment as fast as possible and then call emergency services. 